Hello, uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo, and welcome back to uh, Pierre's case. Uh, this is the case where we have uh, lower molar, and I'm going to show you the post that we just were able to remove. If you caught that exciting video prior to what we uh, had, uh, it, it's really amazing to use an ultrasonic and to get something that's been uh, been in there a long time, and we got it out with, uh, with quite uneventful. We did have to shave a little bit of this metal and we did that with multiple, I mean multiple um, burrs. Uh, a lot of these burrs are, are carbide burrs, some of them are fine diamonds, some of them are regular diamonds, so um, this is the end result. We were able to get it out, we didn't have to decapitate this uh, metal portion. We tried but eventually one week coming back or from last week and, w and it came out uh, with just a little bit of ultrasonics. Uh, uh, to boot. So a lot of effort to get it loose, couldn't do it last visit, now here we are, finally made it. Now um, to, to clue in our patients, and we do this quite routinely so that they can see what we're seeing, we uh, offer them video eyewear. Now I'm going to show you the video eyewear. This, um, this is through the shooting this through the microscope right now, but um, bottom line, uh, it's, a, it's a great way to communicate. This one happens to be from the View6 Corporation, and I'll just show you the logo there. Uh, it's our eyewear from View6. Um, and inside, uh, we have um, the TV monitor. Now, I'm going to lower the light on the x ray or the, um, the microscope just to show you. Let me see if I can turn this on. I think. We're out of battery power, so I'm going to ask Julie to go to the second room. And oh, here it comes. We're up and gunning here. Okay, uh, a little difficult to see all this through uh, through the eyewear. Uh, just trying to see if, if you can see what we're seeing. Here's our monitor. Um, you know, obviously, you'd be able to see that through here. That's hard. I get the, the microscope trying to look through there. So anyway, um, let's get right to it. We'll put this over now to Pierre. And without blinding him now, we want to make sure the light is off and away. And now we're going to move these on over and we'll give it to him. And just slide these on, Pierre. Make sure you're in focus. Does that feel pretty good? Okay. Yeah. Make your head come straight. Straight the other way. Yeah. Okay. So the eyewear is in place, and um, let's just show you where the, oops, sorry about that. A little technical difficulties here. We're shooting this live, so it's unedited. Back in the mouth, there we go. All right, this is what we've been all waiting for. And um, open nice and wide for me. So let's take a good look at, at what we have here. Um, I'm going to dry off the tooth. Now we're going to probe the distal to make sure we don't have any issues going on with that fracture. So zooming in, and uh, we notice that there was a distal fracture right there. And we're probing that spot, and he's probing like a two. So that periodontal ligament appears to be in good shape, about a three there. So you need to you need to do this to make sure that crack is not propagating. And so we're comparing. There's a little defect in there and periodontal ligament space, um, but we're okay. We'll document that he is probing a three on the distal. No problem with that. All right. So I guess you're all anxiously waiting to see what's open for me, what's going on down in that canal, but we had to make sure, and in order to make sure, you have to identify the gutta perca. There's the distal. And you can see the amount of room that occurred when they were going all the way down there. They were going toward the buccal aspect of the tooth, actually toward the lingual aspect of the tooth, to place the, uh, the post room. So, uh, tip your chin up a little bit, Pierre. Yeah, just yeah. Just trying to give you a look at that buckle 
You see all that that we cleaned that completely out. That buckle aspect was if you look down this way, right in here. All that now the endodontist will clean that all out and then they'll repack that uh and probably retreat the other two as as well. So that's it. Sorry for the little delay in this video. Um but we were able to see that and, and also Pierre was able to see that. Right Pierre, you able to see what we're dealing with? Now we're in there, you see the little distal crack right there. You see that little fracture line? Right? Yep. Yeah. So as long as that line doesn't go all the way down internally, we're okay. So how do we check that? Again, we turn the light down and we'll use the fiber optic lighting and we're checking internally with fiber optics and we do see just a faint crack line um, but it's, it doesn't seem like it's it's a new one it might have been there a long long time so we're making Pierre aware of that but it is on the distal there is a crack line there we'll make we'll make sure that our endodontists make that determination when they go in there if it does propagate all the way down to the to the tip of the root then we don't have a choice we're going to have to go with an implant all right so at least we explored all the all the various levels now what we're going to do now is place a little cotton in there first and then retry in his temporary and it's coming next so here we go a little cotton most endodontists are used to cotton. I would put a little Teflon in there, but they might have a little trouble trying to get that out. We need a little half sizes of that. So we'll just put that in half. We'll use the periodontal probe next. And we'll push that one down in place because we don't want cement to, to get caught in there. So there goes one. Let me have the microsuction next. Okay. Drop that in there. Just go ahead and drop it in there. I'll get it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. You okay underneath? All right. Okay. Great. That crown should be ready, Julie. So let me have that next. Let me just condense that. Uh, uh, suction that, please. Uh, yeah, cotton plier. Let me get it with cotton plier. Microsuction next. Cotton plier. Okay. Let's see if I can adjust that in there. Okay. Crown. Crown. Let's try that in. That should go right back in place. Microsuction ready. Sorry, Pierre. You okay? Just going to get rid of some of your, of your ropey saliva here. Uh, I have a clog tip. Oh, it's good. It's working now. This is a uh, 20 gauge uh, saliva or uh, vacuum. Okay, here we are. All right, so we're going to push this guy in place. I've got to fill it up this time. I'm going to use the microsuction one more time. And we'll dry off the temporary. And temp on, ready. Uh, oh, I knew that was going to happen. This is uh, live, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Uh, I'm not an endodontist. I know what they go through. This is, uh, you got to have a lot of patience. Root canal specialists, they earn what they, what they make. So, thank you. I think we all earn what we make. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay. This is called Tempon. And we're going to squeeze a little bit out first. I always like to extrude a little bit. And then I'm going to come back in here and fill this up. Now this is all going to be fun to clean up. 
and it's going to go everywhere. Oops, sorry. All right, and we'll put a little bit in there real quick. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. There it goes. We'll get that underneath there. Let's turn this up a little bit. All right, Pierre. Hopefully that'll stay on there. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Thanks for watching. We're going to ship Pierre now over to the root canal specialist so that uh, hopefully they can treat this tooth and uh, come up with a, a, a good result uh, for him. And then we'll see you back for the core and crown, hopefully, uh, if all goes well. Take care. See you next time.